On the weekend of March 9th and 10th, Hornby Magazine exhibited Grosvenor Square at the Basingstoke Model Railway Exhibition. In this video, we're going to show the layout's operation at the show, starting at the depot area. The centrepiece to the depot is the ADM turntable's indexing drive turntable. This is surrounded by eight tracks, five of which are covered by Kerner Model Rail Centre's exclusive Backman Seamcraft half roundhouse buildings. All locomotives on the layout have to use the turntable, that's because we only have couplings on one end of each engine. These are KDs which work with the magnets positioned underneath the station canopy to uncouple the trains on arrival. On arrival, locomotives either come through the left hand line or through the second line in which has the coal implant for steam locomotives. They then enter the turntable to be turned. If they're going in for servicing they'll be positioned in one of the depot roads or they'll just be turned as we're doing with the warship here. And position back in one of the exit roads. The left hand exit road we use primarily for express locomotives with the right hand line of the two used for secondary passenger locomotives. Running the depot in this way means we always have the right engines available for the right types of train. Initially we had one of the layout's first exhibition appearance after we'd extended it to feature the depot. The depot extension adds an extra 8 foot to the layout so the original area featuring the station covered 12 feet then we added the 8 feet for the depot and beyond behind the depot buildings to my left now is the storage yard area. This gives the layout a total length of 29 feet. Next we see a Western departing with a rake of BR Mark 1 carriages. This locomotive is fitted with a Zimo MX644 decoder and a earth mover speaker and it's passing another Western which is a Helger model and that's been fitted with a Zimo MX645 with a, a large base reflex speaker in the chassis. On the depot you can see a Backman warship on the right, the BR Green version, and to the left of that, on test during the weekend of the Basingstoke show, was one of Colonel Model Rail Centre's first D600 warships. Next to enter the station is D1000 Western Enterprise, it's hauling our parcels train. As I mentioned this is fitted with a Zimo MX645 decoder, and it's now going to cross through the double slips to reach one of the centre platforms at the main station area. As the western pass under the bridge, you can see the complexity of the track plan on the approach to the station. The track plan has been designed so that any train can reach any outgoing track and that any inbound train can reach any of the seven platforms. This gives us absolute flexibility over what can run where. Next we see a Class 47 depart in the station. This is one of our shorter five coach trains. Uh, this is a, a Backman model and it's fitted with a Southwest Digital 21 pin decoder. And just on the extreme right here you can see one of the warships moving off the turntable into one of the storage lines around the turntable as well. To control all the train movements on Grosvenor Square we use two different control systems. We use Gauge Master Prodigy handsets to control the trains and we use two Hornby Elites to control the points and signals. The Elites are connected to two different computers. One provides control for the points and signals in the station area and the other is connected to a separate computer which is connected to the points in the storage yard area. The main station building on Grosvenor Square is a Walther's kit which is built by Tim Shackleton for the magazine. And this is connected to a series of seven uh, Pico train shed units which make up the full overall roof over the station. Next we're going to follow the Blue Pullman as it departs Grosvenor Square. It's departing platform six and moving on to the fast line as it passes the depot here. And we're actually going to follow this unit partly round into the storage yard area as well. The yard design is a reverse loop, so trains enter and follow the circuit all the way around to come back out into the scenic section. Uh, here we can just see the blue pawn unit leaving the scenic area and entering the storage yard. Uh, you can see it will follow the circuit round. And the three different loops we can take around this line here. And each has got a gauge master reverse loop module on it to control polarity change automatically. Now as we pan down, we'll see a western about to depart. There are two inbound and two outbound tracks from the storage yard. 
giving you a down slow, a down fast, an up slow and an up fast. The Western's just been brought to a halt at the signals here. We always drive the trains to the signals on this layout and then we're going to follow it into the station as it enters with its rake of maroon Mark 1s. The signal box there, that's a Kerner Model Rail Centre exclusive produced by Backman and based on the signal box at Truro. The platforms are made from MDF bases which have been overlaid with Slater's plastic hard for the top and they use Reditex self-coloured resin brick sheets for the edging. A regular feature of Grosvenor Square's operation is light engine movement between the station and the shed. And here we can see a Hornby Grange just reversing back into the platforms now to pick up a new set. And this locomotive has been equipped with a Zimo MX645 decoder and speaker in the tender as well. In the background we have a western moving onto the depot, so it's just coming on an arriving train. Uh, and we've also got coming onto the bridge we've got a GWR King finished in BR blue livery. This has been fitted with a Locoman Sounds decoder, uh, it's an ESU decoder. And it's got some quite nice features on it including a heavy working and a coasting mode. Uh, we've got the coasting mode engaged as it enters the station now, all in this rake of chocolate and cream Mark 1s. <coughs> Next here we can see the Kona Model Rail Centre D600 warship departing. Uh, this is one of the first samples we were loaned by Kona Model Rail Centre at the Basingstoke show. It models D602 Bulldog in BR blue with small yellow warning panels. Uh, and we fitted it with a Dapple Imperium decoder to operate on the layout. Uh, it gives independent control of the marker lights and the headco panel lights, as well as independent control of the cab interior lights too. As it passes the depot here you can get a good impression of just how big the depot area is and the boards are actually four foot two inches wide across to the back of the depot here. Next we see a warship entering the station, this time it's hauling a rake of Hornby Collet Bowen stock in a mixture of carmine and cream and BR maroon livery. And this particular loco it hasn't got sound in yet as it was a, another addition to the fleet at the weekend of the Basingstoke show. Now it's not all about long trains on Grosvenor Square, we've got a number of short trains as well which work in between. Uh, this includes a handful of diesel multiple units and we've also got a couple of auto coaches, uh, one of which has been hauled here by a Hattons Collet 042 tank. And this has been fitted with a Zimo decoder as well and with a small speaker in the back underneath the bunker. The next movement we're going to see here is a class 46 peak entering the station. Uh, it's crossing from line one, which is the slow line on approach to the station, uh, and moving across into platform four. Now, Western region stock is the main theme of Grover Square, uh, but we do have some Midland stock that works in onto the layout as well. This is, is seen to be interregional trains which are coming in from the Midland to change locomotives and head off onto the Western region with different motive power. One final shot here of the Hymec now leaving the station with our parcels train. We hope you've enjoyed watching this video and learning a bit more about how Grover Square is operated. 
and uh, we're already looking forward to taking the layout out again to the Great Central Model Railway event on June the 14th to the 16th. Uh, we hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.